A few weeks ago, somebody from Sumo Lounge's marketing department reached out to me and asked me if I could do a video on one of their products. They sell bean bags, bean loungers, bean chairs. We'll find out soon because mine is still in the box. But I'm here to let you guys know that I do get to keep the product when I'm done. I didn't get any extra money for it, and I feel like I probably could have made some money off of it. I get to at least keep the chair. So, hashtag ad. Boop, boop, boop. Really soft. This is also gonna get cat hair all over it. It's the type of material that's designed to basically absorb cat hair from everything in the surrounding area. That's a cat hair. It comes with instructions. Allow this time before evaluating the supreme comfort. Okay. Full instructions. Please refer to your packing list for full assembly instructions. All I had was a receipt, I think. Hold on. I lied. It does have instructions. It says right here. Unzip the bag holding the foam to release the foam-filled inner fabric liner. Oh god. No, wait. Oh! I need a Gorilla Pod. So, we're just gonna open it up, I guess. Let's see what happens. That's oddly satisfying. Oh, there are more instructions. Roll it around and fluff it up. In order to speed the expansion process, break up chunks of foam with your hands. Figure get that liner out. Does it matter which way it goes? Okay, this, this is just too much. This one says, allow 24 hours for the bag to reach 90% size. This says, wait two to four days to allow it to reach optimal supreme comfort 24 hours or two days it goes from 90 percent to 24 hours it takes in an additional i'm overthinking this so i guess now we come back in a couple days to see where it's at maximum fluffiness that's what we want maximum it's definitely not fluffy at all right now yeah we'll come back in two days so here we are, a few days later, and it's nicely fluffed and nicely covered because, again, the cat. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the plastic here, and I'm gonna jump on it, and we're gonna see just like how far I, you know, I sink in, how I sit in this. Now, me being five foot eleven and a whole lot of change, uh, it should give you a pretty rough idea of roughly how big the beanbag is to a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I hit the bottom that time, <laughs> but just. Just enough to remind me that I'm 200 something pounds <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. Hi, my name's Declan. You know what that is? That's a camera. No, I know that's a camera. What is that? What are you sitting on? I'm sitting this one. Yeah, what is it? That's a pocket. That's a couch. A couch for you it is, sure. <laughs> And you can sit down. I can sit down? Yeah. Is there room for me too? Yeah. Sit in his back. Like that? Yeah. I'm a little disappointed that you don't go flying off. Oh! Big oh, big. oh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Dada. <laughs>
But you didn't pay a couple hundred dollars for a piece of furniture for your four-year-old. Nah, you got it so you could use it as a lounge. You could relax and you could watch TV shows, play video games, whatever. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing it in probably the most uncomfortable way possible with a VR headset. But after two hours of just straight sitting in this thing and just relaxing and, you know, playing and watching videos and doing whatever else inside, you know, the VR space, uh, I had absolutely no issues. I could have sat there and actually went longer, but I had shit to do, like, you know, nap. So I think we can agree on just how big this thing is. It's big enough to sit down and lounge in for hours at a time, which I've shown you, but also small enough where if you wanted to, you could take it and move it into another room. And you could do that fairly easily just by, you know, picking it up and rolling it. It's bulky enough where it's gonna, you know, move some things around if you're not careful, but it's also small enough where you can kind of squeeze it through the door. <sighs> this is my son Declan's room. He's four years old. It's about a standard sized bedroom at about, I'd say, probably 12 by 10. Uh, you could see that it takes up a good chunk of one corner of the room, but in a four year old's room, you really don't have very much in here. You have a bed. You have his dresser, you have a small desk with some books. It's big enough to take up some space, obviously big enough to sit in and enjoy, and... Sunday? No. Let's try downstairs. But I'm more interested in actually what's inside of this thing rather than what's on top of it because that's going to be the majority of the actual comfort is what's inside this. We already know what's inside bean bags, the little pellets, right? The little white pellets that get everywhere. Th th this is different. This is completely different. I can tell just by putting my hands on it that it's different. It feels different. You can feel these lumps, these like things inside of it. So let's go and actually flip this over. <sighs> so here is the bag. We've taken it out of the, well, most of it out of the, uh, the cover. And this is the material that actually makes up the bag inside. Now, uh, one thing to note is that there's no there's no way to get inside of this without cutting it open. And since this is something I might actually want to keep, um, I'm not cutting it open. But uh, that doesn't mean that we can't at least take a look at what's inside by kind of just maneuvering the material around a little bit. Here is a piece. It is what feels like, just as I push it here, it feels like a small piece of uh, of memory foam. It's very much like a chipper shredder went through and just just destroyed a bed or somebody with a chainsaw or something made an ice sculpture out of memory foam material, which I don't know if that's actually something people do. And this is what you ended up getting with, with the leftovers here. And there are like a million of them inside this gigantic bag. No wonder when you sit in it, it doesn't feel like a bean bag. It doesn't feel like uh like a bunch of tiny little pellets now if i could sit in vr on this thing for so long then i think that maybe it was not too much of a stretch to say that somebody could sit in this thing just normally and not necessarily have uh, too many issues uh with uh with strain or stress or pain or whatever but everybody's different so you never know Boop. Now this particular model retails for $249 right now on the Sumo Lounge website. The base model of this has just basically swayed, not the luscious corduroy, is $219. So there's a bit of a span there, right? And they have a firm model for like $299. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that every single model they have has like different cloth types, material types that you can replace. The replace it for this, by the way, is $120. So I think, you know, so you're pretty safe to say half the money you're paying for is for the material of the sack itself and not necessarily the, uh, or the cover itself and not necessarily the sack. Uh, but it's it's something that you have to look at from the perspective of am I buying a beanbag or am I buying a piece of furniture? And that's completely up to you. If you have some negative space in your living room, you may not want to fill it with, you know, something that doesn't have structure or doesn't have its own, you know, it just looks like a lump kind of sitting in the corner. It may not be for you. If you have a game room or maybe in your bedroom or like in a kid's room or something like that, then perhaps something like this would make more sense. I know that my kid loves it already. You guys have already seen it. It's like his favorite thing in the world. And I've had this thing for about a week. And so far I can see that it's not something that he's going to be able to destroy. Stain? Sure. Right? Destroy? No. Grown ass adults acting like little kids though, that might do it in. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. My name is Mike B. A. K. Phone. You can follow me on Twitter. Facebook, and all the things at AK Mike B. Please leave me a comment below if you like what you see. Of course, like, favorite, subscribe, all that. And I'll see you guys next time. Finger.